Hello everyone and welcome to this short PI planning app demo. My name is Raphael and I work for Rentouch. Rentouch is a Swiss-based software company developing tools for agile teams and our main product is the PI planning app. Now, the PI planning app comes with two components. One is the RT cockpit and the other is the actual PI planning app where the teams do their planning and collaboration during the PI planning. Now in the RT cockpit, the RT can configure the planning sessions, the teams, and also the configuration to the ALM tool. So we provide real-time bi-directional syncs to Jira, Rally, and Azure DevOps. Now at the day of PI planning, the teams log in to the PI planning app where they can find all the boards, the team board, the program board, etc., for planning. And when they log in, they can access their team board. And that's now a team board of the team MomCorp here. And here we see all the iterations to plan our risk section and our team PI objectives and uncommitted objectives. And here on the right side, we have a simple navigation where we can navigate through the different ports. So we can navigate through the program backlog board, program board, program risk board, and back to our own team board. Now, typically we start from the program backlog board where we manage the top 10 features and those are ranked by the WSJF value. That's this number down here. And from this board, teams can assign a feature to a team. So we can click on this feature and assign it to our team. As you can see, the color slightly changes. That's something the RT or USDRT can configure that once a feature is assigned from this board to a team, uh, the color is different so that you keep an overview which features are in planning already and which aren't. That's especially helpful if you plan with more than the recommended top 10 features by safe, but something in the range of 40 or even 80 features. Now, once it's assigned to a team or our team, uh, it appears in the program backlog column here next to our team name on the program board. And we can now navigate to the team board to start breaking down this feature into user stories. On the team board, we can set a capacity for each iteration up here, and the load is calculated automatically based on the story points that we have in this iteration. Now, if we, for example, drag this user story over here, we get this red highlighting. This shows us that we have an overload in this iteration. And this highlighting is also reflected on the program board. So we see these red spots here. And as an RT, we see at a glance which teams have overload in certain iterations on their team board that we might need to address because they may risk our plan. Something else that's really helpful is we can click on this small pie chart icon here, and this brings up the capacity allocation overview. Now on this screen, we can see which sticky types with the summed story points have which share to the total load in a certain iteration or overall iterations. Now, since we are here to break down our feature into user stories, we want to create a user story here on this board. And the first thing we can see, we can select the sticky types the RT uh, configured for us for this board. Uh, this way we keep structuring the PI planning because we never have the discussions if a user story is yellow or green. Uh, the teams all, always know what the color of a user story is. So we write down a short summary and we can also tap here on the zero to assign a story point value. And this is also a story that we are planning for a feature. So we want to directly link it to a feature. So we can click on the link button and this brings up this link window where we find all the items that sit on our program backlog board. So all the features and enablers. And at the top are the ones that are assigned to our team. We, so we link that and we can see on the sticky note this link label where we can 
uh, at a glance see what feature is linked to this user story or other stickies that are linked to this user story. Now, as you can see, it instantly got a Jira issue key. And this means that it's in this scenario, we are synchronizing the session with Jira, that it's now in a real time bidirectional sync with Jira. And this is also a direct link. So we can click on this link button and it opens up the item in Jira, the is Jira issue. So we see the story that we created, the summary, the story points we assigned, the link we created between our user story and the feature, which is here an epic link or configured as an epic link, and in which iteration we planned it or in which Jira sprint here. Now, a side note, I'm presenting it here on a large touch screen, but of course the PI planning app is a web-based tool. It's also optimized for desktop use. Now, as soon as we know that we can deliver our feature, we can place it on the program board in the iteration that we plan to deliver it. But we may identify some dependencies to other teams. So what we can do now, we create a new sticky note and we select the dependency sticky note and we write down what we need from the other team. And the specialty of the dependency stick is that we can see which team created it and the arrow from left to right indicates on which team it depends on. Now we can reach out to the other team in order to find the team that can take on the work. And once we find that team, we click on the depend button and we share this dependency with the team that can take on the work or is willing to take on the work. So off it goes and we can switch the board. We can go to their team board. That's by the way, something we can do anytime throughout a PI planning. If we need to discuss something with another team, we can simply switch the board and we can simply see what planning state they have on their board. Now they receive the dependency in the same iteration and it's also flagged. So they know uh, there is some action needed from them to plan this out and resolve the dependency in the end. So they plan out some user stories and once they know when they can deliver the dependency, uh, they tap on it again and we have this program button and we can now send it to the program board. So we visualize the dependency with a red string like we would on a physical board and once we are done with that, we can also remove the flag so that the RT understands that's an agreed dependency between two teams. Let me switch back to the other team. So during team breakout sessions, teams may also identify risks and we can place them down here in the risk area. So we can create a new sticky note, a new risk sticky. We select the risk sticky type. We write down what risk we see. And the specialty of the risk stick is that we can set a label for resolved, owned, accepted, or mitigated right here on our team board. Or we can say, hey, that's a program risk that needs to be brought to the attention of the whole train. In that case, we can send it to the program risk board. It disappears from our board, but it appears on the program risk board and the risk submissions down here and uh, it also has the name of the team on it. So we know which team sent in these risks. All the risks come in down here from all the teams and during program risk session of the PI planning. We can address these risks one by one and drag them to the dedicated spot here on the board to roam them. This is a plain sticky note board and it's usually not synchronized with ALM tools but what you can do anytime in the PI planning app of any board, you can basically save a high resolution image and you can use this further. And the other thing, you can also extract an XLSX file from the RT cockpit, including all the planning content of the PI planning that you just run and with also with the risks and how they were roamed. Now on the team board, we can also define the PI objectives, our team PI objectives and uncommitted objectives. We can use multi-line text to define those. We can assign a business value and also assign the actual business value. If it's 
a non-committed objective, we simply drag it down to the uncommitted area. And this is already in a projector friendly ratio. So if you're running a remote planning, make sure that everyone is ready to share their screen if you're doing a draft plan review or final plan review, because this way they can follow the presenter along. Something else is also very helpful. We have this overview of an iteration. We can double click on an iteration and it brings up this uh, handy overview of a certain iteration that we want to present. Now, all the boards of the PI planning app are real-time synchronized. So if we drag something on our board, the other teams can follow the movement in real time, sitting in another office or in their home offices like these days. So something else I would like to show you is the stickers. You may have seen the flag being used for the dependency sticky once we sent it to another team that was automatically applied, but we also have some other stickers available. And these are very handy to combine with working agreements. So we often see the check marks being used for risks, the dots for legal review, and for example, the question mark if the teams have questions for the system architect. So in that case, once the system architect has time to go from team to team, he can open up the search, filter the board for the question mark, and it highlights all the items the teams have questions for, for the system architect. And he can jump into a direct call with the scrum master and clarify those questions right away. That can save a lot of time in a remote planning. Yeah, that basically concludes my short introduction into the PI planning app. We really try to keep the PI planning app as easy and simple to use as possible, uh, close to physical boards so that the teams don't need a lot of time to get familiar with the tool and they can really focus on the plan and the conversations that make the PI planning so valuable. If you would like to start to use the PI planning app yourself in your PI planning, go to trial.piplanning.io and sign up for a free trial. We are always available for questions. If you have any questions, uh, you can reach us under service at rentouch.ch and we will help you with simulation, with questions that you have on configuration. Uh, we are uh, a resource that you can use and we also want you to be successful in your PI planning. Thank you very much for watching and hope to talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.